Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Huddle Pregame Show. I'm Keith Schweiger, joined as always by Tim Gross, and we're getting you ready for the District 3 semifinals. There are four Lancaster Lebanon League teams still alive in the playoffs. Two of them, Mannheim Central and Cocalico, will meet Friday night in Mannheim in the Class 5A semis. It's the second meeting of the season for the Section 2 co-champions. Cocalico beat the Barons 28-24 back in October. Tim, this has probably been the league's hottest rivalry over the last decade or so. How do you see the latest chapter playing out? I think it's going to be a close one. Uh, the last three meetings between these teams have been decided uh, on average by less than a touchdown. So uh, I expect more of the, of the same uh, Friday in Mannheim. Um, Cocalico, of course, won the last one. They had some huge plays. Uh, I think everything that could have gone right for them went right. And I think that's a, a testament more to how Cocalico played than, than anything else. But, you know, I think it's going to be tough to repeat that. And I think Mannheim Central, of course, knowing those mistakes and knowing what didn't go right for them and having weeks and weeks to, to think about it and reflect on it and correct it, I think that's going to make it a, an interesting game for, for both of them. And I think Mannheim Central, you know, coming into it, being the home team and having that kind of revenge factor uh, in them uh, has a little bit of an advantage. But, you know, like we talked about last week, Ocalco kind of thrives on that going into enemy territory and, and having that motivation and just knowing that, you know, if they do everything right again, then they'll move on. Yeah, it should be a great game, Tim. And if I can be excused for making a cheap plug, I'll be hosting Lancaster Online's live playoff coverage from Mannheim Friday night. So join me for updates from the game and news on the other playoff matchups as well. Speaking of those other matchups, let's go to the Class 4A bracket where Lampeter Strasburg is still alive and kicking. The Pioneers dusted York Suburban 48-0 last week, but they have a big challenge on their hands in the semifinals against a Burks Catholic team that is no stranger to winning district championships. The Saints stomped East Pennsboro 63-33 in the first round, and they're the top seed in Class 4A. Tim, how does LS match up? Well, they're going up against the top seed in the bracket, and I think Berks Catholic has that top seed for uh, very legitimate reasons. Uh, I think they've earned it. I think they played really well uh, down all the season, pretty much. Uh, and they, they toppled Lancaster Catholic early on this season, too. Uh, that's the team they ran into from the LL League. So. Um, they're putting up points, and LS's defense, even though it pitched a shutout last week, it's had its struggles. So uh, this could be another shootout for, for Lampeter Strasburg. Uh, it's not really a stranger to those situations, but you know, I, I expect uh, you know, if they win this game, it's going to be a matter of their offense just trying to, to out-muscle and, and, and out-fire uh, the Brooks Catholic offense. Finally, let's turn our attention to Class 6A where Section 1 champ Wilson is in the semifinals after posting a 55-23 blowout of Central York in the first round. The Bulldogs will face Central Dolphin East, a 13-7 winner over previous unbeaten Red Lion, Friday night in West Lawn. It was the Iggy Reynoso show for Wilson last week, Tim. Do you think the Bulldogs have what it takes to move on? Yeah, Reynoso had six touchdowns last week, and he's been, uh, to use a cliche, kind of the spark for this Wilson's uh, Wilson's success the last few weeks, so I think until someone can find a way to stop him, uh, he's just <laughs> he's going to be in the spotlight. Um, but Central Dolphin East did knock off Wilson last year in the playoffs uh, in overtime in the quarterfinals. So um, we talked about revenge with Mannheim Central earlier. I think that's going to be in the in the back of the minds of the Wilson players who went through that last year. Um, it's going to be a tough game for for both teams. I think it'll be pretty close, but I think Wilson. Uh, you know, having the advantage of, of home field and, uh, you know, having won some close games in the past this season uh, has a little bit of an edge going into this one. All right. Thank you, Tim. And thanks to you for watching. Remember, we'll have tons of pregame coverage this week and live playoff updates Friday night on Lancaster Online. So be sure to check that out. And don't forget to follow us on social media as well. For Tim Gross, I'm Keith Schweigert. We'll see you next time.